Hello everyone, it's Dr. Nikki, the board certified family nurse practitioner back in the house. I hope you're all staying well and you're staying safe. In today's podcast episode, I will be talking about testicular self-examination. The testicles are part of the male anatomy and it is important that you do the self-examination so that you know what your testicles feel like, look like, and you'll be able to detect any kind of changes to them. All right, so we recommend that you do the self-examination once a month, okay? Even though your doctor, during your routine or annual checkup, they may check your testicles, it is important for you to do this at home as well, in the comfort of your home. You know, a lot of testicular cancers are detected by the men themselves or their partners. So it's important that you know what your normal testicles look like, feel like, and then you will be able to detect or see any kind of changes to them. All right, so that is why it is, it is important that you do this. Testicular cancer is very common among men and it is treatable, especially if caught early. So I always say that um, early detection saves life. Early detection saves life and prevention is better than cure. So that is the reason why you should do the self-examinations because it's important that you know how normal your testicles um, are and you will be able to notice any changes and see your healthcare provider or specialist immediately. Okay, so how do you do this testicular self-examination? How do you do this? As I said before, it is um, recommended that you do this, you know, during or after you take a warm bath or shower. Yes, during um, or after you take a warm bath or shower. If you want to do it um, after, then you stand in front of the mirror to do it. Okay, so having a warm bath or shower makes the scrotum more relaxed and it makes the exam easier than when it's cold. You know, like when it's cold outside, then your testicles get cold too. But when you're, um, you've taken a warm shower or bath, it's kind of relaxed and it makes the examination easier to, to perform. All right. So just some something to know. One of your testicles may seem larger than the other and it may hang lower than the other. That's totally normal. Do not be alarmed. Okay. One of your testicles might be larger or hanging lower than the other. That's pretty normal. So pretty much when you're looking at your testicles or yeah, in front of the mirror or you're feeling your testicles, you want to do it um, separately. So do one and then do the other. All right. So look at your testicles. Make sure that you notice any kind of swelling, any kind of inflammation, which is swelling, um, any kind of redness, any kind of um, anything, anything strange. And of course, while you're doing that too, you may just want to look at your penis as well. Make sure that you're not seeing any kind of redness, any kind of swelling, any kind of discharge um, um, in your penis and uh, make sure that you are just normal down there. All right. If you notice any kind of discharge, redness or swelling in um, around your genital area, you may have an infection going on. All right. And it doesn't necessarily have to be testicular cancer. You may have a lot of things going on. You may have a sexually transmitted infection. You may have different things going on all right so make sure that you check and then when you are concentrating on your testicles you want to move your penis out of the way and then observe your testicles or you know feel your testicle separately so one uh, do one and then do the other one all right so you want to also know that um, notice that there are different um, structures surrounding your your genital area so make make sure that you know that we have tubes that carry the sperm we have tissues we have blood vessels we have things like that and you may feel like a small coral tube called the epididymis you may feel um, it may feel like a bump on the outer or middle outer side of your testes so just know that there's structures there's all the structures that are attached to your testicles so that you're not alarmed so that is the reason why we say know, the, know what your genital area looks like. Know what your testicles look like. Know the surrounding structures. Know the normal and then know the abnormal. All right? Okay. So when you know the normal, you'll be able to see if there's any abnormality. And it takes practice. So you can't just figure this out in one, one time. So once you do this every month, you get better and better and better at observing your testicles and you will be able to know the norm versus the abnormal all right 
so when you are performing the examination you want to stand in front of the mirror if possible as I said before you want to do it in the shower or when yeah when you're taking a warm bath you want to check for any swelling you know on your scrotal um, area all right scrotum you want to check for any swelling you want to examine each testicle with your hands with both hands so some people will say put your thumb at a, uh, on top and put your index and your middle finger at the bottom that way you're holding it like that you know you put your thumb and your uh, index finger and middle finger at the bottom to the top uh, your thumb on top and then you want to roll gently roll but firmly do not apply a lot of pressure okay do not apply a lot of pressure just slight pressure you hold it firmly and you gently roll between your fingers and then you want to definitely look for any um, nodules which are you know um, rounded masses you want to observe for any hard lumps you want to watch for any changes in the shape of your testicles in the size of your testicles and the consistency of your testicles okay you want to watch for all that and that's why you're doing that gently roll but firmly between your fingers you should not have any pain while you're doing this please you should not have any pain while you're doing this if you have pain while you're doing this it's either you're applying too much pressure or there's something else going on all right so be very careful you should not feel any pain all right and also be aware of any dull soreness or heaviness you want to report any kind of abnormal changes or abnormal feelings or symptoms to your healthcare provider or your specialist right away okay so your testicles should actually feel very firm and smooth to touch okay they should feel smooth and firm to touch so you should do this once a month as i said um you would need to know it will help you to know what is normal and what is different because you can't just do this the one time um, and then just say oh I did it you know what I mean because one time you will not be able to have a feel of what your testicles look like and as I said please report any changes or any concerns or questions that you have to your healthcare provider without delay okay so that is how you check um, your testicles you do this once a month it's a self-examination it's very easy a lot of people um, do this at home in the comfort of their home their partners help them as needed and you'll be able to detect any kind of abnormality you'll be able to detect uh, testicular cancers you'll be able to detect any kind of issues going on with your testicles and if you're experiencing uh, sharp pain or excruciating pain you need to go to the emergency department right away okay if you're experiencing sharp or excruci um, excruciating pain um, yes if for any reason you need to go to the emergency department right away so that they will be able to see what's going on with you and as I said remember that there's some other things that can cause any uh, problems with your testicles not necessarily testicular cancer all right well I hope this helps and I hope now that you have heard this episode you will be able to perform testicular self-examination by yourself in the comfort of your home because it's very important that you know how to do this so even though when you go for your annual checkup or your physical examination by your healthcare provider they should be checking your testicles as well you should do this just like the women um, you know they go for the clinical breast examination that is done by the provider it's also good for women to check their breasts even in the comfort of their home to like just check to have a feeling of what is normal and what is abnormal because a lot of women have also detected lumps in their breasts that have saved their lives um, you know they've detected lumps and that got removed and saved their lives all right so please make sure that you you um, you do this at home on a monthly basis all right I guess I wanted to share with you also that there is an app that you can download on your phones it's on Android phones and is on the App Store as well and I found this app on the um, on a website you know I, I heard about this app from the testicular cancer society website and it's called a ball checker 
the amazing right yeah it's called the ball checker b-a-l-l checker and it's a mobile app as i mentioned before you can download it on the app store on the google play get it on the app store google play it's a ball checker and it should uh, provide you information about testicular cancer how to do testicular self-examination and also yeah you would help you a lot to know what your testicles should feel like or look like and what is normal and what is different or abnormal all right so i hope this helps check out the ball checker on app store or google play thank you so much i hope to catch you in my next episode continue to stay well stay safe and please don't forget to wear your face coverings bye bye Thank you.